My friend Sam has a feature on his website where you can send him a message and it will be delivered anonymously to his phone. I liked this concept a lot, and I wanted to add something similar to my website, but a little bit more physical than just a push notification. Situated at the corner of my desk is a receipt printer that I've used for a few other projects, and I figured that was the perfect platform to use for short form messages. So, I built it. There's now a page on my personal website where you can type up a message, and as soon as you hit send, it's delivered and printed out right on my desk. I'll go over how I set everything up, how I'm communicating with the printer, some of the limitations that I hit, and how surprisingly cool all the responses have been from this project. Let's talk first about the hardware, the printer, and what I have it hooked up to. This is an Epson TM-T88 4V thermal receipt printer. It uses special paper coated in a substance that reacts to heat. So instead of using ink to print, the printhead heats up small areas of this paper. This basically means that as long as the printhead is functional, you'll never have to replace ink cartridges or ribbons. In order to communicate with this printer, I have to send it data in a way that it understands. All of these Epson receipt printers can use a format called ESC POS. It's a proprietary language developed by Epson specifically for communicating with their printers. And using this, I can create formatted text, different font styles and spacing, and basically be able to control the printer to its fullest extent. Now, unfortunately, because of its age, I can't get driver files for this printer to work on the Mac that I use as a daily driver. If I plug it in, the device is just totally unrecognized by my computer. So I need some kind of intermediary hardware to handle that communication between the printer. I chose this Raspberry Pi 4 that I had lying around, and so the printer is just connected directly to it with one of the open USB ports. Now if I go ahead and log into the Raspberry Pi, I can see that my receipt printer is available as a device in a special file called Dev USB LP0. The LP0 stands for Line Printer 0, but we don't have to go into that. And if I wanted to, I could write data directly to this file, and it will be interpreted by the printer. The problem though is that it doesn't really accept raw text well, so if I go ahead and just send it like something like hello world, it'll print, but it won't do anything else. It won't move the paper up. It, it just writes the text and doesn't do anything else because the full commands that it expects through that ESC POS formatting just aren't there with plain text. So instead, I need a way to create data from that format and send it to this printer. Now I've used PHP in the past for this because it's a language that I like. There's also a great library for creating ESC POS data with it. So that's what I used in this case as well. In fact, I built the whole page in PHP using the Laravel framework. See, originally I was planning on having like a static HTML site that would use JavaScript and send requests to an API to handle the actual printing, but I figured it'd be easier just to combine the two. So I created a new Laravel project and threw together a basic front end for the ping page. There's no JavaScript either. All the validation and requests happen server side the good old fashioned way. What happens when a user submits their message is the request goes through a couple different validation checks to make sure the character count is within limits and to make sure that there are no special characters. But why and what special characters? Well, it's because honestly, this printer kind of sucks with them. It has a very limited character set. Out of the box with the built-in font that it comes with, it can print your standard alphabet, numbers, and some of the characters that you'd find on a keyboard like dollar signs, parentheses, and asterisks. The more fun ASCII art characters like the braille symbols or the shade characters, or even any kind of emojis, it just has absolutely zero support. If you go ahead and try to send one of those to the printer, all it does is print a question mark in its place. So yeah, it's limited, and I added that validation to make sure that whatever you send me can actually be printed out and show up as expected on my desk. I also try to match the width of the text box to the width of the printer, which is 72 characters. Now it's just a matter of getting one of these messages to the printer using that ESC POS formatting. Using that package, it was pretty easy. I added a basic header to show the time and a transaction number, and then just dump the entire message onto the body and send it off to the printer. At the end, I can actually control that the printer cuts the receipt at the bottom as well. And there we go, we have our message. It gets delivered because I'm initializing the printer at that special file, dev USB LP0 from earlier. A little notice is flashed to the user and they can know their message was delivered successfully. Now you may have noticed a small hiccup. The site is pushing data directly to that dev USB LP0 file. If that's the case, and that file is only associated with my printer because it's connected to it through a USB port, how am I going to deploy this website? I didn't. 
See, the way I was going to deploy this was gonna be similar to the way that I did my previous receipt printer project, where I would have a site hosted somewhere on a VPS or a site provider, and then the Raspberry Pi that the printer is connected to would have a very thin client on there that the main website can communicate with. This time, I decided to just skip that entirely, including the hosting aspect, and everything is just hosted on the Raspberry Pi that the printer is plugged into. The site that you see on your browser is being accessed directly on the Raspberry Pi that's sitting under my desk. I'll show you how I set it up and, hopefully, <laughs> secured it. I package up all this site code into a Docker image, and I'm running it on the Pi, exposing the 8000 port and binding the dev USB LP0 file from the Pi to the container. So now I can make a request in my local network to my Pi's IP address at the 8000 port, and I can see the site and print out a receipt. For exposing it to the internet, there are a few options, and I decided to choose probably the easiest one, which is Cloudflare Tunnels. See, I already have my personal site set up with Cloudflare anyway, and it's a free option, so it kind of just made sense to use it. I had to install this daemon on the Raspberry Pi that runs in the background, and then it was just a matter of mapping the subdomain to the port that was open on the hardware. HTTPS and DNS support was included and kicked off almost instantaneously. So now I can visit ping.hmillion.com, and that traffic is routed through Cloudflare to my Raspberry Pi underneath my desk, into the Docker container that it's running, and then finally the Laravel PHP application handles the request. Since pushing this live and talking about it on Twitter, TikTok, and Blue Sky, I've had an absolute outpouring of messages come through. It's been about a month or so, and I've received over a thousand pings from people all over the world. Most people would be hesitant to open up an anonymous message box to the internet as a whole with zero regulation or filtering and just see whatever comes in printed out on your desk. I like the thrill of danger, I guess. Now imagine my surprise when the vast majority of the messages that I've got through this project have been overwhelmingly cool and fun and nice and positive. It is crazy, but refreshingly so. I've gotten some cool ASCII art, word puzzles, recipes, memes and copy pastas, and even some that look like fake receipts, which have been some of my favorites. A large portion of them included some kind of location, like hello from state or country. This actually prompted me to go out and buy a large world map, and then pin each of the transaction numbers from these receipts that I got to their respective locations on the map. It's actually hanging up in my office right now, and so far I have over 200 pins from 40 different countries. But by far the biggest category of messages that I got were people telling me just how cool and interesting and fun this project was. How they enjoyed this simple act of humanity and connection between themselves and me, a random stranger on the internet. I thought there was something beautiful and human about that. Getting a message that just says, hey, I saw this and I thought it was neat and I wanted to send you something. Or this is so cool. Or I want to make one of my own. Can you show me how you did it? Which prompted me to record this video. See, there was no real need for me to do this project. I just thought it would be cool and fun. That's the only reason that I did this. And I think that's the only reason that I needed to do this and that anyone needs to do something. If you wanna build something that you think sounds cool, or if you just wanna build something that you just want to exist in the world because it was in your head and now you want it to be in a physical place in front of you, there's no greater excuse for it. It's the kind of stuff that I wanted to see more of in the world. So I made it a point to try to bring it into the world. And that's about all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed me talking about this project. It was really fun putting it together and it is still active to this day and will be for the foreseeable future. The entire source code that powers the website is available on my GitHub and you can use it if you wanna create this project on your own. Let me know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. And of course, if you want them to be anonymous, you can send me a message at ping.hmelian.com.